Hey, 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 what's up, you guys? Welcome to Joe Size World TV. I hope y'all are doing well today, hunty. Happy Monday, fun day, or Monday stress day. <laughs> Just kidding. But um, listen, so the Real Housewives of Potomac Reunion Part 2 actually came in last night. And hunty, people was talking, okay? It was a lot of good-ass moments, um... As far as the reunion, Wendy was bringing it. Um, some say that she was doing a little bit too much. Also, uh, Mia was, you know, having her little shade. Ascala came with her little itty bitty titty witty receipts, honey. But the part that got mostly everybody talking from last night episode is the issue of colorism that happened between. Um, Candace Dillard and Ashley Darby. Okay, there was a really interesting discussion because people, once again, well, the cast was grilling Candace and trying to hold her responsible of her actions. So it was a really good conversation because she said, when y'all go low, you know, y'all attack me. And somehow colorism was bought into the conversation. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is, guys, play a small little clip. Um, it's not going to be the official clip, but it's going to be like a voiceover. And I'm going to play the tweets. Some people on Twitter responding to the conversation between Candace and Ashley. So take a look at this clip and I'll be right back with the remainder of my commentary. And she has made comments about my hair being dry. I talk about your forehead all the time. I talk Jesus about Christ. your dry ass hair all the time. Oh, my hair. Sitting on your head. Should I be offended by that? We you have hair. you have a privilege being a lighter hold skinned on, woman on, on, with God. looser curls. The this point issue is, of colorism you know, has you, got you to be addressed to right here and now. The, I have never denied that light skin privilege and white privilege both exist. I am a biracial woman. I can't do anything about it. I can't do anything about being a dark skinned woman with 4C hair. You always it's take the conversation between us to be about color. I don't There's bring that up. So do you think I'm that, not the one that so, brings so that up. So since you brought it up, I just have a question I'd for you. I'd love to. Do you think that colorism exists within this group? I don't feel as though colorism exists within this and group. And that is what I call your privilege. How can you say that colorism exists within society, but then this group is void of it? because I don't see any demonstrations of where colorism takes place. Because there are I'm a black woman. perceptions held within society, yeah. they try to project things in this group oh. that I don't think naturally exist. Hmm. That Apply that to everything that you say that I do and say that's offensive. A lot of that comes from an audience that wants to impress where they are in their lives. No, you call me a slave. A slave? You, you really called said me that a slave. No, I didn't. That's not a projection. Not that's not an interpretation. That's did. not the outside not coming in. That's you saying it out of when your mouth. When did she call you a slave? No, I didn't. You said at Michael the, drives at to the slaves. Dinner, at the next oh, right. dinner, you call Michael a and slave then you driver. Your drink. What do you say about him? Listen. You call him a slave driver? Because he drives his slave. So you're calling me a slave? No, I didn't. I tweeted two years ago that Michael, something about him being an overseer, you took it upon yourself because you have nothing else going on. No, to because bring you were talking that about up. Chris. You have that was just an Chris. example. And your husband has talked about my husband okay, ever responded so to the Michael disrespect calling Chris white trash and the is one thing. A white that man talking husband. to a white man, but you came out of Ashley, your mouth and called me Ashley, a slave. Ashley, your I'm, perceptions have a slave. You're I'm the one who wrote it. it. This is you not earn, taking earn accountability your again else. and again Get and again. Get it a different way. Girl, I got my check before you sat your ass on this couch, okay? Yes, I got it then. I'm going to get it now. And I'm going to keep getting it. You earn it. Okay? Yes, on your you, own terms. And I do. On your own terms. I do. You Not are the person me. who chooses to make me, me the I'm, subject I have of your no discussions. issues with you. Slave. Woo child. Okay, now that was a very interesting back and forth between both of these ladies. Okay, they did not hold back regarding the issue. It was a tick for tack because both ladies are on the same frequency as far as pettiness. But before I get into my opinion, let me go ahead and read some of these tweets to y'all. Okay, so one person on Twitter said, Colorism is better illustrated by the treatment and reaction of Wendy than Candace. Candace goes so low, it's difficult to tease it apart wendy is just this messy housewife the audience reaction to her is not proportional another tweet said colorism is definitely a real issue but candace is not the one to address it seeing as she uses anti-black language all the time when she's trying to place another black person as beneath her so she needs to so she needs to sit quietly when it comes to that topic so another tweet said in favor of Candace, a dark-skinned woman mentioned colorism, light-skinned woman, 
Okay, everyone quiet. I'm ready to talk colorism. Girl, hashtag Real Housewives of Potomac. Now, this has really brought in a lot of conversation. I think this is a good discussion because the question is, is there actually colorism when it comes to this cast of women? Now, I know a few seasons, a few episodes ago um, on the Whether You Like or Not panel, shout out to Scotty by Nature TV. Make sure to um, check out him and I'm on the panel as well every Monday night. But me and Really B had got into it um, a little bit because of the whole situation between Wendy, when they was all on vacation and how they was ganging up on her, I said that there was a sense of colorism. Okay, now when it comes to Candace and Ashley, Candace, I get where you're coming from as far as colorism because it could be seen, but let's not let's not act like Ashley does not get dragged all the time as well. And I feel like that when it comes to Candace being held accountable, girl, like you do say things that are off the rip. So let's let's not use colorism as an excuse. I feel like maybe if it was coming from Wendy, it would have been a better point. But let's not act like that. You're not the one that gut up people and drag them for feel. You know what I'm saying? And when you have some comeback, now you're screaming colorism. When has we ever seen Candace take responsibility on anything? When have we seen her take responsibility? Never. Girl, just say, I messed up. I apologize. I hit the below the belt, but I appreciate it if you such and such and so. She never does. You know, she she has this victim mentality, and I think that's the part that really irks me regarding Candace. Now, let me go ahead and get on Ashley. Now, Ashley, sis, um, you called yourself a slave. You called yourself Michael Slave. So when she called you a slave, like, girl, bye. It don't even have anything to do with that. I feel like that you're being super dramatic it's so funny to me because candace and ashley is pretty much the same person okay they both love to go tick to tack they both hit below the belt in my opinion um i just needed i get where candace was coming from but i wish that she would have possibly used a better example or just let wendy take that as far as colorism because um calling yourself you know 4c hair or um kinky hair like every race has different type of kinky hair i don't know what it's going to take for both of these women to get it together and at least come meet with some type of common ground but they are one of the same like i said and i feel like that they're never going to um come to terms until one of them you know bounce up and be like okay like what can we do to fix this issue like it's petty and it's stupid and it's childish um both of their asses like girl you're like come on now y'all need to chill chill the fuck out but um yeah i would really love to know your thoughts and opinions on that segment of the last night reunion did y'all enjoy the reunion let me know in the comments below and let's go ahead and get that discussion going all right all right we can always find our way to a fun moment even in the shady bunch Hey, what's up guys? It's Josiah's World TV. Now, if you like this video, make sure you click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so you can be notified when I post more videos. Bye-bye.